Oh, what a nice house. It looks like trash. As well as they, they don't even have a freaking driveway. Wow, what poor scums. Anyway, welcome to 60 Seconds. This game is uh, pretty fun. You, uh... Apocalypse, yeah. Nuke, you can see. Uh, the Reds aren't very happy with us, so we have to... When the alarm goes off, go through our house, get all of our family members, at least what ones we want, get all the supplies we possibly can, throw them into the bunker, and we have to survive. Make decisions and send people out to explore. We're going to go with the little boy. And you'll see. And just a warning, the FPS is about to go down a lot. I don't know why it went down. It would always go down like so much when this part comes. But like, it's about to go down to like 9... Oh, 11, 13. Okay, I'm fine with that. All right, so we got the radio in here. We got soup and everything. We need to find map. Well, we got a gun there. We got Dolores there. Got an axe. Flashlight. We want the flashlight. We want a med kit. Okay, grab that. And we'll take a gun. And then we'll take a can of soup to shelter. And we need a we need that. We need that. <laughs> that thing, you know, my son. And then we need quickly. Come on, Dolores, let's go. Oh my God, get out of the way. I need a gas mask. I need the radio. Need that radio. <sighs> oh, she's in the middle of the med kit. Dang it. Crap, I need food. Definitely need some food. I don't have much time left to the shelter. Come on. I need more food and water. Ah! I got the med kit somehow. Get to the shelter! No, no, no. Yes! Screw the little daughter. Oh. Sheesh, <laughs> I get stuck on that lamp and it's just like, no, I didn't get much food or water, but I got a lot of the stuff I needed. Oh, I got three people. I got the gun. I didn't get any ammo. Got the med kit. Got the flashlight. Deck of cards. Okay. Um, yeah, the radio. Almost all of us made it to the shelter. Almost. All we could do is now is start thinking of creative ways to serve our can soup. We can't remember bringing these those supplies down to the shelter, but we're not complaining. We probably have stocked it better anyway. Uh, car. Oh, that's where the cards came from. Soup and water. Good. Our shelves are full cans. We'll eat from cans. We'll sleep on cans. We'll even talk to cans. Some of us already do. Plenty of water means we don't have to worry about that for some time. Every four days, you guys will get food and water. You maniacs, you blew it up. Ah, oh, damn you, damn you to hell. That's something we should have told our neighbors, that they were going to blow up our, their barbecue last spring. Wow. Ooh, getting a bit scuffy there, Ted. Living in the past is not wise in our current situation. We need to think of today and tomorrow. Timmy seems okay, and Ted seems relatively calm, and Dolores is okay. Keep on calling her Dolores. Dolores. Hear that? No, because no one is talking. But we're... Uh, not a word in hours. Not at all. We can't just stare here. Well, stare and stare at the walls. We need to do something about this. Yes, listen to the radio. See if we can get the military to come and pick us up. That'd be great. All right, next day, radio ain't broken. Ah, how fortunate we took the radio with us. We could probably listen to some music. They still play music out there, don't they? How about getting Timmy some water to drink? Nope. You get some tomorrow. Hey, guess what? We already got ourselves our very own fall garden. We have a bunch of mushrooms. No, 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 no. Don't eat that. Those are probably radioactive. Day four. They all get food and water. 
We may be hungry, but there is still but there are still some things we will never eat. Wall fungus is one of them. Alright, you all get food and water today. Uh yeah, sure. We'll send Timmy out next uh tomorrow with the gas mask so he doesn't get infected and sick when he comes back. Oh, and I don't have a Boy Scout book. That sucks. We're trying our best to remain calm. The situation we're in is far from normal. We might never get used to it. We hope it come help comes soon. Yeah, I do too. Guess today's a good day to go outside, Timmy. Oh, no, don't take to make it. We need to make it. We could get a pet dog here in a while, and that thing we could send it out, and it will get it'll get stuff for days. I don't think it could die either. Timmy went out to the wasteland. We don't know how long he'll be. Good news, everyone. The government has just announced that they're dropping crates filled with supplies near our area. Final wave Are you kidding me? Aw, oh, come on. Timmy! <laughs> no! Ah! Crap. Oh. Dang it. It's too dangerous to go out there. Well, we probably would have gotten plenty of supplies, guys, dang it. If I didn't give Demi the gas mask, I didn't know they could drop supplies. Uh, we're done fighting. But for how long? Day 8. Take some food and water, you guys. We decided to peek outside for a minute. And, uh, and there was a store around the corner was still standing. We were about to step out when we heard a growl in the darkness and a pair of ferocious eyes. Yes, this is Pancake the dog. Yes, shine a light on him. Yeah, there's a little doggy. Oh, hey, and Timmy's back. Oh, Timmy. What'd you do? We decided to check what was coming for us with our flashlight. Guess what? It was a dog. The poor thing seemed tired, so we let it stay with us for the night. The next morning, we opened up the door and let him out, and we and he still hasn't returned. Hopefully, it will come back later. We were so afraid of t for Timmy, but he came back from Wasteland and is with us now. Some additional supplies would help a great deal, but we didn't get any from this expedition. Are you kidding me? Ah, dang it. Our gas mask was destroyed. Alright, Timmy, I guess you should probably get some food and water. phone yeah Dolores go I know the phone's out there please don't get sick nope she's still looking sassy as normal when we answered the phone we could clearly hear a gasp of relief from the caller they introduced themselves as survivors from the nearby town of Hill Valley we had started exchanging information when the call was cut short something must have gone wrong on their side we hope they'll get back to us uh, Dolores came back from the wasteland. She's just nice and dandy and fine. Good o, good o. All right. We keep dreaming about those little things that we used to do when we were kids. Okay. Tim's still not Tim. Ted still looking pretty scuffy. What will we make out of today? What will be tomorrow? So let's make it right. Uh. Okay. Today seems like a great day to go outside. Uh, Dolores. Mm. We don't really need a flashlight anymore. Take the flashlight with you. I want her to take something. I would let her take the gun, but I don't want her to accidentally break it or lose her or die. Uh... Food and water day for you guys. We always wanted to throw a party, but we kind of can't while we're down here. Okay. Maybe moving away won't be too bad. We could probably make new friends, meet new people, provided anyone is still alive, that is. Oh. If there's anyone that can rescue us from this hell of situation, it is our government. You can badmouth them all you want, but they, but they probably, but that probably means you're either a naysayer or a commie. 
Ha! Huh. Communist faggot. We're good citizens and we've been paying our taxes regularly and we're sure that Uncle Sam is coming for us. Yeah, let's go check. Oh, that's a good sound. We knew it. The government has, has not fallen and they're coming to save us. They did... They didn't give us that exact date so in the radio transmission, but we are sure that they're that they won't keep us waiting long. They said that they will be in touch a couple of days and told us to await further instruction. Good, good. Barking outside of our doorstep could only mean one thing: our dog friend is back. Not caring about the hazards of the wasteland, we rushed to open up the door, and there he was. The poor thing seemed tired and starving. So we should we share some food with him? Yes, because he can become a viable resource for us. Viable. Viable. Whatever. Oh, jeez! Dolores, what happened to you? Ah. Uh, brought back the flashlight. Hey! Two bottles of water. Alright. Um... I'll go ahead and give you guys, you, some food and water. You probably need it. A traveling exchange bill. I'm for one. Ah, uh, we don't need cards. Let's get the food. A more food. Plus one food, minus one card. We made a deal with the salesman and helped him... Pack. Day 16. Day 20, you guys will get more food and everything. Boom. Doom. 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 Ooh, growing quite the beard, Ted. And she is looking oh, freaking hideous. Enough arguing. There's more important things that we need to worry about. Don't you worry. Wait a second. I was supposed to feed him yesterday. Oops. No, 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 no. He needs food too. Crap. Eesh. Okay. Radio. Radio. Okay, good. Still in good condition. The horse is not. We were able to get a weak signal and tap into the government's emergency announcement service. And guess what? Great news! The fallout, the fallout outside is mostly gone. It, it's, it should be much safer to travel on the surface now. Timmy seems okay. Dolores is sick. I don't want to use the med kit because I want to use that on uh, Pancake. Someone is at the door, but we're a bit scared. Okay. Crossing the fingers. Nothing. Oh no, Ted! A group of travelers wearing gas masks were carrying some serious looking equipment. Gave us purified water. Okay, but now he's sick. Crap. This morning, we were surprised to find a letter outside of our doorstep. It was not signed, and it contained a location for, the, for a meeting tonight. Yes. Okay, I don't know why Timmy can't go out. Now they're both sick. It's true. It's all true. There are really others just like this. We arrived at the rendezvous, unarmed and on time, and we were greeted friendly by good-looking people. Uh, some group... Of survivors they were being led by the twins uh, twins a brother and a sister those people can also help us too and save us all right everybody gets food and water today pancake came back today all right we'll take the map all right seems all good pancake one of the follows a well-prepared hiker always takes a map. That's what they always say, right? Thanks to our trusty Atlas, we were able to take a look at the devastation of our town and get back home, or rather our shelter, just in time for dinner. 
Pancake tagged along for a while, but left before we got to the bunker. That's okay. What the crap is that thing? There's nothing better than the quiet after the storm. Or was it the other way around? I don't know. The other day we heard a, a quiet knock on our door. But we opened it only to find a suitcase and a... Ah, uh, screw it. We got nothing to lose. Damn it. It was a gift. Was booby trapped and there was nothing inside but some junk. I suppose we opened it and it exploded. Is anybody hurt? Wow. That's kind of a freaking... Today, an RE broadcast interrupted our... Let's call it breakfast. Anyway, they seemed very eager to evacuate and us away from here. But it seemed over several things that needed to happen before they did. First, we needed to list us up. And we were given a geographical coordinates. Yes, go, go, go forth. Come on. A quick glance at the map gave us all the information we required. We left them a message in a bottle. Timmy's in terrible shape and need to get him water now. Everybody gets food and water today. Both of them need a med kit. Before, before the world turned into an unforgiving dead wasteland we were friends with almost everybody in our town including an old man the old man Jim who would shamble through our street often and always say hello we wanted to visit him once but he but he gave us an address that took us to a park old man Jim was such a joker it appears that he survived the blast since he's our at our door right now and he's asking if we want to buy a rock Buy a rock? Oh, jeez. She is like a worse by the day. Timmy, he's fatigued. You need to be really careful with the door-to-door -door salesman. Way too often they'll try to sell you junk like that. Yeah, no kidding. Mm -hmm. Wouldn't it be fantastic if we can get out and leave? Yeah, it would. Just wonderful. You know? Oh, man. Still, it's better to be safe down here than dead up there. Oh, man. When is Pancake going to come back? Oh, it is a horrible... Wait. It is horrible to see a friend in pain. But when we saw Pancake whimpering at the doorstep, it, it was too much. Some bastard shot him. And he's he's losing a lot of blood. Yes, get the med kit. This is why I kept it. Yay! Pancake! Pancake, yes! Thank God. <coughs> oh. Pancake, we're not letting him go this time. That's a good idea. Pancake, I want you to go out tomorrow. Search for some food. Maybe. We thought playing a silent game would be a good idea. The silence was too annoying and we quickly stopped. Uh, everybody gets food and water today. Oh, we're running low on food. We've been wondering what happened to Uncle Brian. Uh, don't have a Boy Scout book, though. I don't know how that'd be good for pictures, though. Uh, no! Dolores! Look at that skinny little body. Jeez. Dolores suffered from her injuries for far too long, and the infection spread, and there was nothing we could do. Just me, you, and, uh, ooh. The siblings visit us today and ask if they, they can use our map. Yeah, sure. Who could get to us first, the siblings or the military?
We were happy to see them again. We quickly handed them our map and pointed out several locations that might be worth checking out. They left before it got dark and still got a few hours of scavenging or scouting in daylight, but they said they would they would definitely be back to share some news with us. Good, good. We have no medkit. Ah, man. It was terrible. We couldn't sleep. Ah, I don't have a med kit, man. I used it on good old pancake here. Oh, jeez. Oh, my God. I'll be crazy. Bravely ignore its symptoms. We tried to... Oh. Oh, God. Look at Timmy. Jeez, he looks freaking retarded. There's only one thing you can't expect. A band of people dressed in green showed up at our doorstep and they were claiming that they were taken from the rich and... What? No. Oh, they're both insane. We didn't answer the particular peculiar calls from the door locked until the noise has faded away. Alright, you guys get food and water today. Offer us one water for... One watermelon straight from the manure field. I don't know why I just thought of that. The end! But Terry's still alive. No, what about Pancake? The military... Hmm. The military was coming for us. Dang it. And the, and the twins. We were almost there. Man. That's really depressing. What about the pizza? What the crap? Okay. Oh, man. Oh, uh, well, take two. Let's get out of the game, boys. Let's go. Apocalypse, little boy. Yeah.